Brandon will be pleased by the way this one played out, including the seven from Wells. Yeah, I think so. I already got a text from him. So I guess he must be on the on the car listening to it on the way back or something. But uh, it was uh, what a performance. Uh, Wellesian and then our, our two back end, Cano and, uh, and Batista. And, and you got to give a lot of credit to their guy, too. That was a good old fashioned pitching battle. We were able, able to get two home runs and uh, did it in two hours and four minutes. You know, so Santander, great defensive plays in the outfield. Um, the, the one, obviously, uh, uh, the last out Wellesy uh, got in the seventh, but also that sinking line drive in the eighth was uh, made it look easier than what it was. Was your plan all along, all along to limit Wells to, to seven? No, no. I, I think if I think if he would have gotten out of that seventh inning a, a clean inning uh, with a with a decent pitch count, I, I was going to run him back out there in the eighth. Um, I think when he, once he got, in his, when he blocked two guys, I think in the, in the eighth inning, he got himself in a little trouble. I think that was, uh, that was enough. But in my mind, we were going to, if he had a clean seventh, he was going to go back out there in the eighth. What made him so effective tonight? What was his factor for him? What was effective, yeah. I think it just threw strikes. And, and he had his secondary pitches. He threw over the, over the, over the plate. And he got some quick early outs uh, in, the, in the count. Um, I think this might have been one of his best outings, that, but that, if not the best outing we've seen here in, from him in a long time. How much have you seen him grow this season? I've seen him grow almost every, every start, you know, as a, the mentality of, of, of being a starter and, you know, keep want to stay in the game uh, as a starter, keep him going out there and, the, the, you know, not satisfied by just throwing five or six innings, want to, go, want to get the ball in the seventh. And, um, you know, this is, is this nice to see from a young, uh, a young starter some growth there. Freddie, his ERA is now down to 2.68, which we basically top 10 in the American League. You saw a little bit of this last year. Uh -huh. But if he can stay healthy, can he be one of the better pitchers in the American League? I think there's conversation, right? Uh, and, and we still got a long way to go. And he still has, I don't even know how many starts he has now, but he probably has another 20 in front of him. You know, and, and uh, but you know why not? He's uh, he keeps getting better. Um, I think you know last year those starts that that he got has catapulted him to to this year, and he's continued to get better and improve. And and now we just gotta you know you feel comfortable giving him the ball every fifth day. I know you know he's been one of our consistent starters. Him and um, him and Gibby, who's starting tomorrow, are one of you know two guys that you feel good that they're gonna go deep in the game. How nice is it to see Gunner? into a ball like that it, it's it's nice and and if you look back the last three or four games I know he made some adjustments with the, the hitting coaches uh, or they had conversations and and you know he's starting to swing the bat a little bit more uh, you know here's a 21 year old young man that is learning in the big leagues and you know he gets frustrated but he doesn't he comes in the next day and he's and um, he's fine and he's willing to work and and we're willing to the organization is giving him our bats and and to work through it uh, and it's not easy here in, in, in the big leagues to make adjustments and 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 um, have success and you know little by little we want you know we want him to be the guy that is going to be on all the billboards but I think it's going to take a little time and it's and we're not surprised by it uh, I don't think anybody's surprised by it as as as, as long as we give him at bats I think he's going to keep getting better and better over the last couple of years Santander his defense wasn't as good as it was in, in 2020 but did that catch remind you of uh, of what you saw when you first came here? You know, he's he, he, he is a good defender, um, and w when you have the luxury of having a McKenna on the field, or, or and I'm not I'm sorry, on the field on your roster, that you're going to be able to get a little bit better. You, you take advantage of it. It's not that he's a bad defender when we defend for him, um, but because we didn't do it today. Uh, but he is he is a good defender and he's a good thrower and 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 I think sometimes we give him the DH spot just to get him off his feet. Uh, but uh, yeah, by any means he's not he's not poor. But uh, when you have the luxury of having a you know a really really good def outfield defender on the bench, and you got a chance to win a ball game and and and, you, and we make that move. How much easier did it make your job tonight to have both Yenier and Felix available and then to be able to turn the ball over to them in the 8th and 9th? Really, a lot easier. This, this, this job, and I, I've forgotten, right? Uh, this job has uh, 
when you have those two type of guys in the back end that we talked about earlier when you had O'Flaherty, Venters, and Kimbrell, and, you know, you go, okay, uh, it, it feels a lot better. But, uh, you know, you still, after I don't even know how many years not doing it, we get first and second two outs. So they get first and second two outs, and, you know, I, I, I turn over to Manzalino, I'm like, you can't get this feeling where I'm having right now anywhere else than here in baseball, you know, because for me, it was Wellesley's game right there and then, right? I'm not going to bring in anybody else other than Wells, uh, and, and, he, and he did it. And what a great feeling. And then you knowing that you give the ball to Cano, and then Batista, you got to you feel pretty good about it. You close. Wait.